everybody welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in my name is Belile I am a lifestyle blogger from South Africa if you are new on this channel you're very much welcome and please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment on this video sure you're just wondering what am I doing in the office why am I not in the car traveling and exploring a rural area of any kind I am in my office today because I'm doing a report to uh, a company that has funded a project that I've just finished if you don't know, I also have a great passion for early childhood education uh, and development. I also, when I'm traveling around in different provinces in South Africa, I also look for the daycare centers that need help, especially those ones that are in dis disadvantaged communities in South Africa. So when I see such problems, I just don't turn a blind eye. I make sure that I help the women who have started daycare centers in disadvantaged communities to make sure that we, uh, the daycare centers that they have built or started, some of them they even give away their own homes so that they can accommodate children and look after children during the day, but they lack a lot of resources. So I try by all means to make sure that whatever they have, these women, I take it to a next level. And I look for funds from people who have funds who are able to fund my foundation and then I take the money to those women and then we build crashes and we renovate them and we upgrade them. So that's what I do sometimes. So without any further ado, guys, I'm going to be showing you a beautiful, beautiful daycare center that we have just renovated right now. It is in Glexdorp in the northwest of South Africa. It is in a disadvantaged community in Kanana Township. It's called Lisedi Labana. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kanana Township in Orkney, Northwest Province of South Africa. A majority of people in this area live under extreme poverty and stay in informal settlement or RDP houses that are built by government for low-income households. Some women in this township have taken upon themselves to fight poverty by turning their homes into daycare centers. Mrs. Alita Seretzi is one of those women who turned a shack that used to be her home with her husband 20 years ago into a daycare center business. 20 years ago, with limited resources, she started turning her shack into a solid structure. She started building and accommodating a lot of kids at a daycare center in this township. She was helping the community and also helping herself and her family to get out of poverty. So she started building steady but surely. She was very young at that age and she was so energetic, she says. So she started building this beautiful uh, daycare center that I'm going to be showing you today. This is how the daycare center looked like when I started meeting her last year in 2021. Lisedi Labana was up and standing and accommodating a lot of kids. Her work was impressive and so was her struggles to keep the daycare running. So we came into her rescue because we wanted to turn this daycare center into a secured and healthy as well as educational friendly environment for the children. We came to her rescue and we decided to gather our thoughts, raise funds, and head to northwest from Johannesburg. We loaded anything that we could so that we can be able to help her with the renovations. I loaded my Jeep with so much. I mean, as you can see right here, we had the Jeep loaded from head to toe, dragging trailers all the way from Johannesburg to northwest. But anyway, we were on the mission to go and help and rescue this woman as well as help her build a beautiful daycare center that is going to help so many families as well as so many children. So we started the minute we got there, we started with painting. First coat was just right away started and I had to spend a lot of days around in this area, making sure that we oversee the project as it goes on. And while people were painting, others were doing plumbing, we wanted to make sure that there's enough running water and they have any equipment that's going to help them run a very well established daycare center. We built a brand new jungle gym for the kids so that they can have a beautiful play area and they were very excited. Uh, if you could see how excited these kids were when they saw this up and they were just like so excited. I couldn't help myself but I just cried. More magic was visible when we started putting 
colorful paint all over the walls and we decided on color blocking each and every classroom so that kids can identify their classrooms according to colors so when you ask them which which classroom is yours and they will say it's an orange classroom or a yellow classroom that helps them with color coordination also in understanding of colors at the early stage so everything that we did we were thinking so thoroughly of how we're going to incorporate education with everything that is around in this daycare center it was definitely starting to shape up and you could see color all over everywhere you went even people who were passing by the streets were just like taken by the beautiful colors that we incorporated when we were renovating this daycare center we used the very same color technique even in the inside so we were color blocking each and every classroom so that the kids also from the inside can identify their classrooms according to colors after that we brought in furniture because what is a daycare center without without those little small chairs and colorful tables so we had to make it nice and beautiful and child friendly so we did it was really a mission to try and put and assemble everything together but we did you know, we are in the process of helping women and also we are helping children to get early childhood education and be able to go to daycare centers that are child friendly they can be able to play in a playground it's also about educating the child at a very early level so that is my passion so we handed over the new renovated daycare center to the owner and this is how it looks like so you guys enjoy okay enjoy the tour guys i'll be taking you through and showing you things that we have done and it is so beautiful as you can see very colorful it is very attractive there are so many people who have come to this woman to register their kids for the next term everybody else is very impressed about this in this community they've been coming to us and they've been congratulating us with the good work that we have done even the principal of the school the one who founded and established the school is so so happy about everything she could not express herself she was in tears when she saw everything that we have done she's very much thankful and so are the kids they are very happy there she is she's just standing over there and watching me taking this video she's very excited and she was telling me that her business already is starting to grow because People are showing so much interest into the daycare center now. This is what we wanted to achieve. As you can see, the beautiful colors that we incorporated into this daycare center so that the kids can identify their classes according to colors and also learn more about the colors. So the colors are very much blending very well. We thought so much. Actually, I used Pinterest to come with these colors and I love this idea of color blocking so here it is i hope you guys are enjoying and loving this beautiful beautiful daycare center that we have renovated later on we will be doing the ceiling because we didn't get the chance to do the ceiling and this is the office that i'm showing you right now and then we're starting here this is the classroom for grade r if i'm not mistaken i think it is grade r so we have new cabinets now that are looking so beautiful where they can put their books and then also they have their storage uh, lockers just on top it looks so beautiful and we also found a local artist who did those drawings on the walls uh, he is very talented we were so grateful for him and the work that he has done we incorporated numbers and alphabets all over around and also you know child-friendly pictures or anything that is artistic for the children to be able to identify that and things that they see maybe on TV and you know things that they can learn about in their books so characters that they will enjoy to see on their walls this is the woman behind this whole thing and she is so happy she kept on directing us and, she, and, and, and looking at us and just like so happy and smiling so we were very happy to see the smile on her all these beautiful uh, names and numbers and everything that the kids can be able to learn from we made sure that you put it on uh, on the walls we didn't use the charts because sometimes the kids they pull them apart and they fall apart so we had to make sure that at least we have something that's solid that's staying in the walls and they can see and they won't be able to destroy as you can see the colors when the classroom is yellow inside maybe it is orange outside just to coordinate the colors so i like the way we did it this is the artist 
and he did so much good work and he is very humble we love him so much we also made sure that we put a sink in the kitchen and make sure to paint the kitchen and make it look so nice and presentable and we did a lot of plumbing in the kitchen and i'll show you guys as we go around uh because it is at the back where we did a lot of plumbing and i'll show you guys as we go around uh just follow me because it is way at the back it's gonna take us a little while but we're just gonna get there i'm hoping that do they do a garden at the back here because there's so much space where they can plant uh whatever they want to plant so that they can be able to feed the children here is the plumbing that we did as you can see on the left hand side and we come straight to the kitchen sink and uh, the water overflows and then we also made sure that we put those two washing sinks so that they can be able to wash anything uh even the blankets that the kids use some they can wash it over here easily now water is there we did the plumbing and there is water and it's such up and running it is very much useful the way it has been done kids enjoyed everything and they were lining up during their break to go and play on the jungle gym they were so excited i was so impressed by the way they were so disciplined i thought they were just gonna run straight to the uh, jungle gym but they just took their line and they were so happy as you can see them thank you guys for watching and god bless you thanks to everybody who donated and please continue to donate i'll leave all the details and please don't forget to like subscribe and also comment on this video thank you so much